Hi, my name is Mark Volker, and I live here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm part of, uh, invested in and part of a project to introduce a new currency, voluntary local currency, here into the state of Nevada. I'd like to show it to you. It's called the Goldback. So I have a wallet here, and open it up. And inside you see usual we've got I've got credit and debit cards here. And then on this side I've got some gold backs. These are Utah gold backs. The Nevada gold backs are in production right now, so I don't have any to show you yet. So let me just pull these out. So I uh, also got some US paper currency here for comparison. So, so here are some gold backs and a one dollar bill. Uh, the gold backs, the 25 is, is about equal in size to a paper dollar, but it's worth considerably more than a paper dollar. So I'll explain. So goldbacks from whatever state of issue come in five denominations. Smallest is the one right here. And they're called goldbacks because if you turn them over, you can see the gold. Turn paper dollar over and you see green ink, which is why dollars are sometimes called greenbacks. So here's a gold back, the back of the gold back. That's a one. Here's a five. And a ten. Quite beautiful. And the 25, right there. Finally, the 50. 50s are a little bit larger than US paper currency. And the reason why is that to get enough gold in the 50 and still make it flexible, Goldback needed to make it a bit larger in area there. So what's interesting is that these really are gold coins. They're thin, flexible gold coins. And because they have a small amount, a very small and precise amount of gold in them, they're easy to spend. So if I had a one ounce gold coin, um, I took it in, I wanted to spend that at a grocery store or something, even if the clerk knew what a one ounce gold coin was worth, uh, they wouldn't probably wouldn't be able to buy my groceries with it because they don't have over $2,000 in change to give me along with my loaf of bread. But I could go into small grocery store, maybe in a time of economic crisis, and I could say I'd like a loaf of bread and offer a single gold back, and I might get, I'd get a loaf of bread at least, maybe, maybe two loaves of bread, depending on uh, what people think gold is worth. So uh, that's really why gold back has created the gold backs. Uh, as voluntary local currency that will hold its value and that's also easy to um, easy to buy and spend. So today this is there are about three of these for ten dollars. All right so they're easy to save up for and buy uh, and they're easy to spend. And uh, we'll be introducing gold backs into various other states as, as we can.
Uh, Nevada is the second state. Utah was the first in 2019. Nevada now in 2020 is where we're focused right now.